Hi, and welcome back to I'm a Happy Enchilada, and a big thank you to all you first-timers for tuning us in. I'm Don Culver, and I'll be your host. And we started a new series on self-care last week and focused on emotional self-care. Now this week, we turn our focus to mental self-care. And as we talk about mental self-care today, keep in mind we are also talking about personal and psychological self-care. I'm finding that they're all closely related and intertwined. And so let's start with a description of mental self-care. Mental self-care includes doing things that keep your mind sharp, like puzzles, or learning about a subject that fascinates you. You might find reading books or watching movies that inspire you fuels your mind. Mental self-care also involves doing things that help you stay mentally healthy. And here's several examples of mental self-care to consider. First, practice mindfulness. Take a break. Play video games. Listen to music. Read a book. Listen to a podcast. And reflect on things you are grateful for. Now, those are all some good examples, I tell you. All right, so let's see what else we got here. It's important to remember self-care is all about recognizing what you need. It's essential to place your needs as valuable in your mind. You can't look after the well-being of others if you don't first do for yourself, right? Now, if you need some help getting started on finding a self-care routine for yourself, check out this five-step approach to creating and getting into a self-care routine that you can be successful with. First, find what makes you feel centered. Brainstorm how you can incorporate those things into your daily life. Set goals for incorporating self-care behaviors every day. Find support and adjust and tweak your approach as you go. Good advice. That seems simple enough. Maybe give that a try and for sure move along here at your own speed and don't make your self-care plan too complicated. That can lead to burnout for you and wanting to quit. And another question, how much time should I devote to self-care each day, you wonder? The experts say 30 minutes. Most of us could find 30 minutes in a day, right? Well, maybe not every day. On the busiest of days, we can squeeze out 10 minutes for ourselves, right? Now, we're worth that. And just a reminder, having a successful self-care routine can actually lead to reducing or eliminating anxiety and depression, reduce stress, increase happiness, and much more. So having a winning self-care routine will spill over into every, every area of your life, creating more of an overall feeling of well-being. If you don't have a good self-care routine, you can expect to experience increases in anxiety, fatigue, possibly heart disease. And before we go, how about a couple simple morning routines you might experiment with? First, no media for the first 30 minutes. Take a walk. Read something that inspires you and get spiritual. And just a few more ideas here. Make your bed. Put off checking your phone. Stretch your body. Drink some water. Do something fun or creative. Well, that should be enough ideas to get your creative juices flowing. And I wish you great success and joy. Well, that's all I've got. So until next time, God bless and be a happy enchilada. Bye.